Hey guys, welcome to Dave's Cave. Today I'm taking on a little project. I'm gonna do a little work here on my Gibson Les Paul studio. What I'm going to do today is get rid of this. This is a G-Force um, automatic tuner. Um, not that I hate it, but I just don't like it very much. And <laughs> we're gonna replace it with uh, some Grover tuners, which everybody knows are the world's finest tuners. But anyways, not so much of a tutorial, but I will do a play-by-play -play picture book for everybody. So stick around and we'll see how easy this project is. All right guys, before we get started on that project, um, I just want to invite you to follow me on Instagram. You can find me personally on um, uh, Man Cave Dave uh, on Instagram, but I've also started this new project called Music's Image, where if you find that site, uh, on Instagram you'll see that uh, some of the photos that I've taken and put different filters on but different uh, photos that I've taken personally at different concerts I've been to in different concert venues or uh, more of the music related aspect of what it is that I'm trying to do with my photography and some other fun things I, I get into occasionally with guitar projects and other things like that but anyways um, just go ahead, check me out on Instagram, that's Man Cave Dave. I think it's underscore, Man Cave Dave underscore, uh, and then just on music's image. All right guys, thanks, so let's get started. All right guys, first started out, put everything out, make sure we have everything, and then I put it in a highball glass, which everyone does, right? Set the highball glass off to the side. All right, here's the setup. And yes, that is a neck pillow, no pun intended. But I uh, just got it covered up on my uh, coffee table and ready to work. Uh, first off, obviously get the strings off the guitar. And then here, on the G-Force tuner, I used a 12 meter, 12 millimeter wrench rather, to get the nut off. Um, once you get all six nuts off, the tuning pegs actually just fall right off. It's actually very, very simple to do, as was um, putting the other pegs back on. Here I took the opportunity to give the guitar a good cleaning. Cleaned it and shined it up with the Gibson uh, cleaner and polish, and then I lemon oiled the fretboard. Got it nice and shiny. Uh, new pegs are going in. Very, very simple. 10 millimeter, though, on these pegs as you put them in. Now, you can't see it very well, but there's a tiny little screw at the end, or the bottom, sorry, of each peg that you have to screw into the back of the neck. Or head, rather. I set mine in a half inch, and I didn't require a pilot hole. I just screwed it in, no problem. It uh, wasn't that hard. And then I restrung it with these elixirs. I love these strings. I have them on all of my guitars. Acoustic and electric and acoustic electric. So anyways, now... That's me just clowning around. But uh, project was pretty easy. Didn't take too long. Looks pretty good. Uh, thanks again for tuning in. Uh, we appreciate you stopping by Dave's Cave and checking us out. Uh, again, here I thought I'd put up some examples of uh, the Instagram page I was talking about earlier. Here's a few of them. If you hear any scratching going on in the background, that's my dog trying to get into the man cave. He loves it back here. But anyways, uh, thanks for stopping by. Check out Music's Image. Check out Man Dave Cave. Man Cave Dave. <laughs> on uh, Instagram, be uh, much appreciated. 
But anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in tonight, and uh, uh, we'll see you all next time. Love you. See you.